In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the drive toggle clevis kit on a Lazy Boy electric rocker recliner. When you order the kit, it'll come in a little bag like this, and we'll take a closer look at the parts in just a minute. The kit is needed when you replace the plastic drive toggle, and that's the part that slides onto the drive rod. It also happens to be the part that's most difficult to replace, so I caution you that here's a bit of a warning for you. If you're not confident in your DIY skills and you tend not to be patient, save yourself some aggravation and hire someone with experience to do this repair for you. If, however, you are confident in your skills, you are patient, and pay close attention to detail, watch this video before you decide whether you want to tackle the repair and try it yourself. You may run into some problems that are not shown in this video, but I'll try to point them out along the way so you'll know what to expect. So, let's take a look at what you get in the kit. Let's check out the parts, see what we got here. Okay, here are our instructions for installation. This is the metal part that we're going to use to replace the black plastic part. This is the drive toggle clevis. These are the spacers or bearings that we're going to need for the installation. And notice that there are two different sizes here. There's a shorter one and a longer one. And I'll show you where the longer ones go in this video. We also get a connecting pin in case we need it. And I also requested a couple of leg rest swing bushings because we take these off when we do this repair and it's always best not to reuse these plastic parts but to replace them instead. So I recommend you order those as well. And I see they threw in a couple of, of nuts for good measure and we'll have those in case we need those as well. All right, let's get started with the repair. So I've removed the chair back and turned the bottom of the chair upside down so I can work on it here. Now with this style, you want to be careful when removing the back because there are two electrical connectors that need to be disconnected before you completely remove the back. So be sure to look for that. So I'm going to start by loosening the bottom of this outside arm panel. Now that the fabric is loose, I can take some vice grips and attach them to the end of the drive rod. This will help us slide the rod out later. Next I'm going to remove the drive toggle connector, this part here, by removing this clip and pin that holds it onto the footrest actuator. And there's our drive toggle connector. Now this footrest actuator, I recommend you don't let it flop around, but I like to tie it off to the base here while I'm working. So let's do that. And now we get a good look at our broken part, our plastic drive toggle here on the drive rod. Now with these parts disconnected in the center here, I can move the footrest by hand and you can see the rod rotate. Now it's important that we establish the orientation needed or the position this rod needs to be in when we install the new part to replace this broken plastic one in the center here. So I start by opening the footrest all the way and this I call the top side so I mark it with a T. And that's normally how I work on all Lazy Boy mechanisms. But in this case, it's a little different. I want the opposite end, or the bottom side. So I'm going to close it and mark that with a B. So now that I have the orientation, next up we need to remove these leg rest swing bushings and screws.
Use a little tool here to separate the two. My little tack puller. And push the plastic part out. There's our leg rest swing bushing. You don't want to reuse these. Whenever you take them off, you want to use new parts when you reinstall. And there's the other one. So with the leg rest swing bushings removed, I'm now going to open the foot rest again all the way. I'm going to plug the unit in so I can reposition these actuators. So I'm going to start with the foot rest button here and get this one retracted all the way. And now I'm going to use the back actuator to move this bar. Rotate it around. And be careful here that you don't collide these two. That's good. Now I can access these nuts. Now I've unplugged the power again so the unit can't move. And I'm going to use a 7 16 inch socket to remove these nuts and washers. Now comes the fun part, removing these screws. Sometimes these are stuck so firmly that it'll shatter a bit or strip out the screw head before you get these out. So I've tried a number of things over the years to find out a way, to find the best way to loosen them up. And I believe I've found that. And what you need to do is take a hammer and give some sharp blows to the edge, each edge of that part and rotate it around and do the same on the other side to try to break the bond between the head and the metal parts. One more time for good measure. Okay, and now I'm gonna approach it from the front and see if we can break these heads loose. You have to put good pressure on the bit so it doesn't slip. Ah, there's that one. On the other side, we want to do the same thing. We want to put the bit in there with a lot of pressure so it cannot slip easily. And there we go. If you're unlucky and you can't get these bolts out and you end up stripping the heads, you're going to have to drill them out and that's a big job and a big hassle. So rewind the video if you need to, follow my directions exactly and hopefully you won't have to do all that. Next up on the back side here where the nuts were attached, sometimes there's a burr. So what I do is take a metal file and file those areas down. And that keeps the rod nice and smooth so that hopefully it slides out easier. So now we want to take this spring loose here on the far side. And now we're ready to grab onto our vice grips and pull and see if we can get the rod to slide out. And we're going to go a little over halfway so we can remove all these broken parts. And that's what's left of our plastic drive toggle. The rod came out pretty easily. They don't always do that. Sometimes you have to pull fairly hard 
And sometimes there's some drag on there, like these two spacing links here. If they're leaning over, they can cause extra drag against the drive rod. So if you're having trouble getting it out, getting the rod out, straighten these up a bit. And you can always brace your knee against the side of the chair while you're pulling and you can wiggle the rod back and forth. That helps a bit too.